Okay, this is a, a do not do. You do not use your drill gun with a Phillips head or any other kind of head to try and put in your screws. This is a no-no for your wings. Don't ever try to do that. We're gonna grab our wing screw and show you how to mess this thing up. You put it in there, you think it's straight, thing turns sideways. Now look what happened. That thing just jackknifed in there. And we're like, oh shoot, what did he do? Try to put it straight, oh, it's still jackknifed. So what we have done is messed up our Healy coil. And look at the actual screw itself. See how that looks all stripped at the top? You don't want to ever use a drill gun to do your screws on your wings. I'm a good hammer. Don't hit it with a super hard hammer, not a regular hammer, always a good rubber mallet. I'm going to hit this directly from the tip of your wing straight through this fuselage. So think of the straightness of the fuselage. This is the direction your hammer wants to go. You don't want to hit down. You don't want to hit up. You want to go straight towards the direction of that fuselage so the maximum force is going the right way. If you go down or up a little bit, you're putting stress on both the wing and your fuselage, and you could, you know, end up, you end up getting little spider cracks and all kinds of stuff because you're doing, you know, you're hitting it the wrong way. So basically, I grab onto the fuselage. I'm gonna hit this straight into it. I'm leaving this just a little bit loose. I don't want it super tight already because if it's a hair loose, it'll get a little momentum when I whack it. So I'm gonna give it one good whack right there. Now that's, you seems like you've hit it really hard, but this thing can take it. These things are super strong. You just have to have the right mallet to where you don't damage it. Now you look inside here, look at your screw. You want these screw holes to line up perfectly. You see how that looks like it's almost dead on. You don't want these things to where this wing is not totally on and you end up getting the screw in there crooked and you'll cross thread it and you could possibly damage your Healy coil. Okay, we've got our screw totally off. I'm gonna grab my fuselage. I'm gonna hit straight this way. Don't hit down. Don't hit up. Try and go straight down the fuselage. The front wing, back wing is all the same. I grab this. I kind of have it towards my thigh so it doesn't go anywhere and hit it right close to your mast or your fuselage so you can knock it off. Yep. Okay, here's another way in case you get your front wing really, really stuck on there. This will put a little bit more force on your wing to get it off. What you do is put it on something where you're not going to damage your wing tips and you hit the mast and hold with your feet the back of your wing. Okay, you're just kind of trying to stop this thing from moving and hit it right here. This will create a little more force than actually trying to pound the wing off like this, like in our standard position. So if you really get it stuck, try that. Okay, you put it on there. The other thing here is you do not crank these screws. The screws are just there to be a set screw to stop it from falling off again. The wing is facing up. These tips are going up or really down when the foil is over the other way. We're going to put it on there. Don't put it on the other way is what I'm getting at. You're, you're, you're going to be on the top this way. Okay, so I get it. It's a little bit loose. This is how I like to do my wings. See how it's just a hair loose. I'm not all the way tight yet. Grab the fuselage, same thing. I'm going to hit this tail wing right on this tab on the back. Don't hit your tail wing out on the sides because you're going to put undue pressure on this fuselage. Go straight from this tip here. Give it one good whack. Okay. We've got the wing knocked on there. You want to make sure exactly that this thing lines up perfectly. The way to check it is you can put it in with your hand. Put it on. See how easy it goes in? Okay. That will take it off. Comes out super easy grab our mallet and like I was showing you before I like to put my thighs right here and I'm gonna whack this really hard close to this edge without trying to hit your fuselage don't get way out on the ends because you start to break it you could put a little extra stress on it so be close to the center grab your fuselage so that this is making an opposite force to my hammer 
you don't want to just sit there and pound on it when it's in your board because the board is kind of moving and doing weird stuff. If you hold your hand, you'll have a little bit extra pressure to hold it. Okay, hit it. You can hit it really hard there. Just make sure you have a good deadhead or similar type hammer. Comes off. Boom. That's all you got to do.